Hey everyone, do you want to learn how to create an aggressive shake effect in Filmora? Keep watching! Shake effects are quite popular these days among creators and video editors. When you add an aggressive touch to it with some glow effects, it becomes a whole new effect. Filmora offers a wide range of effects to elevate your video editing skills with ease. Let's jump into Filmora and learn this aggressive shake effect. First, change the project frame rate from 25 FPS to 30 FPS. Then, click Import to import all your footage to the Project Media folder. Next, place your first footage onto the timeline and make it one second long. Then, place the rest of the footage onto the timeline and adjust their duration to be between 15 to 25 frames long. Navigate to the effects and search for the flash or flicker effect. You'll find various options for different types of flickers and flash effects. Apply the flash black effect on track 2 and set the starting point at the 10th frame until the clip length. At the beginning of the effect, set a keyframe for frequency and set the frequency to zero. Then at the end, set the frequency to 60. Navigate to the Effects tab and select Video Effects. Then choose Shake and apply the Extreme Shake effect to track 2 at the second clip. Make sure the effect matches the length of the clip. In the Effect Settings, adjust Position X to 0.60 and Position Y to 0.02 to create a shaky effect. Next. Go to the newly added effect folder and apply Pulse Shake 3 to Track 3 at the second clip. Match the duration of the effect to the clip and set Strength and Glow to 100 in the effect settings. This will add a slight shake effect with a glow. Lastly, duplicate the Extreme and Pulse Shake effects onto the remaining clips and adjust the effect duration to match the length of each clip. Next, head to the Media tab and apply the adjustment layer on Track 4. Place it at the second clip and make it as long as the clip. Then, go to the Color Settings and set Exposure, Brightness, and Contrast to 100. Add keyframes and adjust the highlights to 83, shadow to negative 55, and white to 66. After that, copy the adjustment layer and paste it onto the rest of the clips. Adjust the duration and keyframe position for each clip. Now to add more glow to the effect, we will add a Dream Glow effect. In the Effects tab, scroll down to the new blue Effects folder, then navigate to Filters. Locate the Dream Glow effect and apply it to Track 5, ensuring it lasts the duration of Clip 2. Access the Effect Settings and adjust the Blur to 5 and the Glow to 65. Next, add a final effect. Go to the Effects Search panel and look for the Throw-In effect. Apply it at the starting point of Clip 2 and make sure it only lasts for 3 frames. Then, copy and paste it onto the starting point of the rest of the clips. At the final step, let's add a transition to our clips. First, go to the Transitions tab and navigate to the Zoom folder. Scroll down and find the Warp Zoom 5 transition. Apply to both Clip 1 and 2 and make sure the duration is set to 8 frames only. Then apply the same transition to the rest of the clips, ensuring that the transition duration is also 8 frames. Once you're done with it, render your process to see the preview. Witness the amazing aggressive shake effect in action. If you love this tutorial, show your support by giving the video a big thumbs up and sharing it with your fellow editors and creators. And if you're hungry for more visual effects and tutorials, don't forget to visit filmora.wondershare.com. See you in the next one.